sun coming in back here. It's pretty too, wow. Sure is. Look at that tall one, that tall one coming in. Boy, he's pissed off too. <laughs> you see him? Yeah, that the monster. Makes your heart kind of get up and go a little bit. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Well, howdy, everybody. This week on the high road, we're down in Texas at my place on the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. We'll be doing some deer hunting. And today's program is going to be all about family hunting. And we're going to start out with a father-daughter hunt. And then after that, we'll be tagging along with a father-son team where one of them is hunting with a rifle and the other one hunting with a bow. I'm Caroline. I'm from Dem Springs, Louisiana, and I'm here at Hidden Springs Ranch. This is actually my second year here in about two years ago, I took two really pretty bucks, and I'm just so excited to be back here. I'm Lawson, Caroline's dad, and uh, this is our second time out to Texas Hidden Spring Ranch. Caroline and I have been hunting together for a lot of years, and it is just the, the most special thing to hunt with your daughter and to teach her all the elements of hunting. It's been one of the most special things in my life. The thing I like most about hunting with my dad is because he always teaches me something new about hunting. Um, I know he likes coming to watch me hunt too. It's always a good time hunting with him. Greg is our man. Greg, our guide. We just fell in love with Greg year before last. He is very patient, uh, like Caroline, and she really loved Greg, and that means so much on these hunts. We love having you out every year. It's been a pleasure to hunt with you. I love to see the father-daughter bond. It's a great time. Yes, sir. Look forward to it. So this is actually the first year that the lodge has been completed here, and, and I'm super excited about it because we put a lot of effort into it. Uh, the, the decorating is pretty good. Uh, I look at it and say, you know, it's not really big, but really nice and I think the hunters love it. So I talked to Keith and he told me about the new lodge prior to coming out and but we were really blown away by it. Uh, just really did an amazing job. Just so comfortable for the hunters. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lap of luxury here in the new lodge. Caroline is just awesome. I mean she's the kind of daughter that I think that uh, everybody would love to have. She's beautiful, she's bubbly, she, uh, she doesn't know a stranger and she loves hunting and she's a good shot too. We saw a lot of deer this morning, a lot of fun watching them move around, but we're going to this other stand this evening. It's gonna be really fun. I'm excited to go. All right, it's a beautiful afternoon. A little overcast, cool. They ought to be moving good this evening. What you think, Caroline? I'm ready, I'm ready to shoot a big one. Yeah, Mm-hmm. good. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty. He's tall, wide. He's got it all, Caroline. Oh yeah, he does. What's that coming in back here? That's the deer we saw at first. That's the first buck. Yeah, that's the first buck we saw. He's missing his main beam for sure. He's got a four, but he's missing his main. Oh, Caroline, look at him run the buck off. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You like him, Caroline? I do like him. He's pretty. Why don't you go ahead and get your gun ready? Whenever he stops, go ahead and see if you can get a shot. You 
Got him, Caroline. Good shot. Oh, Good great shot, 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 baby. <laughs> oh, he's, he's still yeah, up. He's still going. He's still up. He's down. Did you see him flop? Did you see him go down? <laughs> that was cool, Good baby. Job, Good job. <laughs> Great job. That was fantastic. He's beautiful. He is. Wow. I can't wait to see him. That is awesome. Great shot. About ready to go check him out? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, he's pretty. Look he at that. He is really nice. Look at that. Good twos. Uh -huh. Good threes. Oh. Little triple that. split brow. Yeah, yeah, I didn't either. No. Good long main beam out here. And I bet this main beam right here was, yeah. was another five or six inches oh, yeah. out there as well. He is very unique. That is wow. Beautiful, Caroline. Thank you. <laughs> so much fun. Yep. I enjoyed it so much. I'll tell you what, we have really had a good time again here. Yes. Yeah. Really appreciate y'all's hospitality, so man. Much fun. It's our pleasure. And it's uh y'all y'all make everybody feel really special here. Yes. Watching Lawson and Caroline uh, hunt together and just uh, whether it's eating dinner or sitting in a stand together it just reminds me of me and my little girl Maddie. And I think that there's no better place in the world for a father and a daughter to be able to relate and build their relationship than on a hunting trip. And so it's for that reason that when a man brings his daughter out here to the ranch, regardless of age, I want to make it as special of a trip as I can. Being here at Texas Hidden Spring Ranch is special. It really is. It's a special place. I've hunted all over the country. For a father daughter, they really know how to treat you here. Uh, and it is just, uh, again, just a very special place. I love hunting here every single second, hunting with my dad, being with Mr. Greg. Everything was so great about it, and I wouldn't change anything about it. My name is Caroline, and you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren. <laughs> so when the Tank Blind guys came out here, I got to really meet them and spend some time with them, and uh, two guys came out, Aaron and Al. Now, uh, you look at him and think, that's a father and son team right there. And Al, uh, the, all he does is help Aaron out, delivering blinds and whatever Aaron needs for tank blinds. My name is Aaron Gilbreth and I'm the owner of Tank Blinds, where I weather for Texas. I'm here at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, gonna hunt some giant whitetail with my pops. You know, sometimes people will say at the very last minute, hey, uh, I, I know it's just me and my dad coming or, you know, me and my brother, whatever, but can we bring somebody else along? So on this trip, Aaron and Al brought along a buddy of theirs by the name of Paul. My name is Paul. I'm out here at Hidden Springs Ranch. I've been watching Keith for several years, and just to be able to come out here and meet Keith is incredible, and I'm excited to be here. So our objective here for this hunt is a management hunt, and that includes taking out some bucks that are really cool looking, unique, just old, mature bucks that really need to be taken out of the herd. Did y'all get your stuff unloaded? Yes, sir. All right, and you're shooting a bow? Yes, sir. You shooting a gun? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a gun, yeah. Well, let's head to the range and make sure we're, we're good to go. All right. All right, good. good. And so what we wind up doing when every hunter gets out here, the first thing we do is we come to the range and then we put up an effective range target. This is 100 yards. At 100 yards, this is the kill shot. This outer ring right here is the kill zone on a white-tailed deer, so pretty big, okay? What we wind up doing, we have the hunter shoot in this inner circle here, and the next inner circle here, it reduces it down to where you can determine your effective range by the size of your grouping at 100 yards. So if you want, if all the shots lie within this circle right here, you know you have a 200 yard effective range, so on and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead and see what Al can do. Okay, wait a minute, can you see anything? Look. No. Good. You're not supposed to. Yeah, it's gonna be just me, you, and the blind. Don't worry about these guys. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. All right. Once you get out of the way, and we'll get okay. Aaron on the bow and see what he's doing. Okay. I got my ears on. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> Nice. 
At Tank Blinds, we make the highest quality custom hunting blinds that are specific to whatever the customer wants. Bow hunting, gun hunting, combinations, and until you really hunt out of one, like you can at, here at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, you don't really appreciate what all it does for you. So we got all sided in, in, uh, in the blind. The weather conditions are absolutely perfect. It's uh, cloudy, a little bit of north breeze. Ought to be perfect. So, what do you think? You feel good about being able to pull back? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm spot on. It's just a but see what happens. God, that's a pretty doe. There must be some. Oh, look at the buck coming in straight out. Good gosh. Holy cow. And that one buck is crazy. You got something going on. I'm telling you, they were looking at something. Aaron, you see him? The oh. real tall one right here. Yeah, yeah. Look how much older he is than everybody else. Look how white his face is. Yeah. Boy, oh, he's a gnarly looking thing. Wow. Oh, he's a bully. Yeah, he just brought him off, didn't he? <laughs> you know what? If you like him, if he gives you a shot, you want to take him? Heck yeah. How far is that? He's 30. 30 yards. shoulder. It doesn't look like it went in very far. Yeah. The arrow's laying right there. Yeah. So sometimes bow hunting, uh, things don't go as planned. Sometimes in life, things don't go as planned. Come on, let's face it. So this particular shot, we made a decision after watching it back, like, eh, it, I know the deer's dead, but we're going to give it till tomorrow morning before we go recovering. So it was a kind of a sleepless night, to be honest. I didn't know how it was going to work out the next day, but when we went out there in the morning and searched and found him, man, it was like the best feeling in the world. So here he is, what do you think? I love it, <laughs> look at that blade. <laughs> look how tall he is, is what's blowing my mind. Yeah. I mean, the, his G2's gotta be 12 plus inches and he's got a really good beam on this side, but, and he's a big body, he's an old deer. So oh, you know. look at the gray in his face. Oh yeah. But this Very is my unique. kind of deer. Yeah, I know. And the reason why I like killing these deer is because when they get big like this and they, they get real aggressive, those wider deer, this deer can go on the inside of the rack and hurt them. Oh, yeah. I mean, Poke they're like they got out. daggers, you know? Well, this is neck. good. This is real good. Man, I'm tickled to death. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to getting him on a scale and getting uh, taking a look at his teeth and see how old he is because this is an old buck. He is. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Thank you for coming out. Absolutely. Good job. All right, one down, we got one more to go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, he's moving to the right. Okay. You can get your rifle up whenever you're ready. Tell me when you're ready to take shot. You can take him. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Good shot. <laughs> Good shot, Al. Went right down. It went right on down. Man, we got meat tonight. It didn't move an inch. Can't wait to get down and go check it out. Yeah, let's go look at it. All right. Oh, man, what a day. <laughs> Woo, boy. Boy, what a day. Look at the brow tines. Oh, oh man. wow. Look at the beam on that thing. Huge mass. Good man, night. this thing is Massive! Woo! Wow! Hey, it's a monster! Hey! <laughs> what a deer! Whoa! Look at this thing! Look at that! They got blades, got everything on it. Oh, looks, like, looks like an antenna. Yeah! <laughs> I'm happy for you. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, Keith Warren, and boy, he made this possible. You got a wonderful place out here. And, and we enjoy hunting out of your blinds. We really, well, we thank really, you. we really do. You guys have created a, a really awesome blind and well let's get him back and get him weighed up cleaned up and they'll have us a, a fish fry oh, i'm ready <laughs> i never get one like this again oh boy well bob is a an excellent guy here he takes care of you he's well knowledge in, in, in the deer and the environment i really appreciate bob he's helped me a lot and i've learned a lot from bob i'll be up all night thinking about that deer <laughs> My son and I, we hunt together. I started him out hunting with me when he was about eight years old. And over the years, we just grew together. I look at him now and I look back then and I remember going out to the trail and coming back and even I could see his footprints inside my footprints. And so now I'm kind of following him around, you might say. <laughs> but uh, we've just had a, a great life together. So I got my buck, my dad got his buck been hanging out with Keith Warren all weekend, campfire, frying up crappie, and just having a blast, just shooting the breeze. And this has been a phenomenal experience, one to go in the memory books forever. So my passion for the outdoors stemmed from an early age. I, I just, I can't get enough. I live for hunting, I live for fishing, I love to get my kids involved. This, this is part of his tribe right here. <laughs> oh yeah. And so my passion for hunting spills over into my blinds, the tank blind. And I have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with every customer that calls. And you don't get that with anybody else. I give my cell phone, my personal cell phone out at 682-226-5559. You can call me, text me. From the beginning of our conversation to the ordering process, it's completely five-star customer service. And so this group, when you take a look at what we've done on today's show, we've got Caroline and her father. I don't think, how can you beat that, okay? And then you got Al and Aaron, and, and you think, and look at the happiness that they have between them, the relationship that they have. And then I get to provide them with a place to do that, and to build their relationship. And I'm very, very happy with the way it turned out. And if you got a comment on the show, head on over to the website and hit the Connect with Keith tab. And I'll see you next time.